Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. teacher. Hi. <clears throat> Are you people ready? Please turn your cameras on. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, my dear. I'm ready. All right. So now I'm calling the- Good evening. Rosa. Hello, good evening, Rosa, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Turn your, your cameras on and say breath. All right. Hmm. I see that there are few of us. All right. Esa es una de las cosas que tenemos que aprender a poner aquí en el chat. Usualmente, por ejemplo, cuando llegamos a la pizarra, ¿verdad? Y nos tienen ahí o al pollo campero y nos dicen, ¿cuántos son? ¿Verdad? Esa frase, ¿cuántos son? Nosotros la respondemos, eh, somos seis. ¿Ok? Lo usamos con el verb to be, así simple. Pero en realidad debe decirse, hay. ¿Ok? Entonces, Esa frase en inglés no va. No podemos decir we are five. All right. Vamos a decir there are five of us. All right. There are five of us. No vamos a decir we are five. All right. So aquí lo voy a escribir. <clears throat> Entonces nos van a decir how many of how many people, digamos, how many people are there, okay? How many people are there? Then vamos a decir, incluyéndonos, right? There are, mm, let's say, 11 of us, right? Like this. Así que esa es la manera correcta. Es un poco más elaborada que en español, ¿verdad? En español, no, somos cuatro. Es más fácil. It's here. But we have to think, right? There are. There are. There is only me, right? Or it's only myself, right? It's only I. Yeah, it's only I. Okay, this is kind of weird in English. English is weird. Right. There are more exceptions to the rule itself. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I was going, well, I was about to call the roll. So please, everybody, now I see you ready and everybody is joining. So Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia Yamilet Coreas. I am here teacher. Great. Right. I am here teacher. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. Andrea, right? No. Claudia. Right. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Oh, yes, Claudia. Claudia was right. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Uh, Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present, teacher. Uh, 
Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. I saw in the chat something. Hello. Okay, okay, the Hello, good evening, Andrea. Sure. All right. Abel is having trouble with the internet connection. All right. <laughs> Hernan Antonio Chacon Lopez. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. Javier Antonio. Oh, no. Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. No Juan Francisco tonight. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present Magdiel, teacher. Thank you. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Good night. All right. And Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Oh, I remember about Tony. Uh -huh. uh, I see Ellen Nilsson. All right. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Santos. Jose Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, Pedro. Well, people, tonight we are continuing with the topic there is and there are. This is a wide um, topic. I mean, it has a lot to consider when we want to. Mm, structure a sentence using there is and there are. Uh, <clears throat> one of those uh, considerations were yesterday about singular and plural nouns, right? Singular and plural nouns. We also have to consider count and non-count nouns, all right? So uh, that complicates the situation just a little bit. But we are trying, we are trying to do our best to get as more as we can of this topic, all right? There is and there are is a basic one to build, to build vocabulary and to build grammar structures, all right? So we are going to try to, uh, okay, we're gonna try to start with this. Allow me to introduce the class first. Vamos a entrar directo, ok, van a ser, ya llevamos prácticamente dos semanas que no empezamos ni jugando, verdad, ni nada, pero eh, son temas que probablemente ya los hemos visto, pero hemos, ahora ya los tenemos armados en la mente, pero probablemente hay que corregir algunas, eh, algunos detalles que son muy importantes y eso nos toma tiempo, ok. Así que vamos a entrar de lleno. Unit two is directions and instructions. And the topic is there, how to use there is and there are There is and there are. In questions, all right? There is and there are. How to use it, use these two phrases in questions. Then the objective is, 
that you will be able to make questions using is there and are there. These two kind of questions are requiring or um, requesting a yes, no answer, right? These kind of questions are yes and no answers, okay? Because these are direct questions. If you see, is there, are there, all right? So allow me to show you the agenda for tonight. Are used feedback are uh, used to uh, we used to make feedback all right then our topic and objective presentation has been done well we have to talk just a little bit even though it's a very big book okay it's a very big book about regular and irregular plural nouns this is to help us to know if we are going to use there is or there are or the quantifiers also all right the articles like a and an too okay this is very important then we have a conversation and the manual on page 21 some written exercises on page 22 and we are trying to give directions how to get to a place in a building, right? Yesterday, we described the places. Today, we want to give some directions, um, basic directions, how to get to a place in a building. Okay. Then we want good evening, to- Good teacher. Hello, good evening, Juan. Hello, world teacher. All right, all right. Please stay connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, then our wrap up will be talking freely, all right? And we are going to try to be confident using there is, there are, is there, are there, all right? With the correct form or using it correctly, okay? So let's get started with the regular and irregular plural nouns, okay? Let's start with the regular and irregular plural nouns. A ver, todos ya sabemos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es el plural y el singular? Can you tell me what is singular? What is plural? What is that? Singular is uh, the risk. And plural, there are. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. For singular, we use there is, and for plural, we use there are. But what is singular? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is one. singular? Only one, mm -hmm. right? One, one. And what is plural? When we talk about more than one, more than one, all right. And also maybe plenty, right? Many, a lot, all right? That's plural too. Okay, let's start by watching that in this slide, we have the first, uh, we could say a rule, all right? This is, we're gonna see like, um, like a series of rules, how to make plural nouns, okay? From singular to plural. So most words add letter S to make the plural. That's easy, okay? That's easy. Most words, la mayoría de palabras, most words add letter S to make the plural. Here we have some examples, all right? Apple, apples, just letter S. Wallet, wallets, okay? A ver, usamos a y an para los singulares. We use a and an for the singular, right? Aquí estamos recordando un poquito también de lo de ayer, right? There is a wallet. There is an apple, okay? Hay una manzana, hay una billetera. All right. 
Pero, ¿cómo diríamos los plurales? Uh -huh. Los plurales. There. There are. Uh -huh. There are apples, right? Yeah. Con la letra S nada más. O sea que la mayoría de palabras o de nombres, no palabras, la mayoría de nombres, le agregamos la S y ya se hizo plural. Okay, so let's look at some examples after book, umbrella, key, laptop, cell phone, camera, employee, friend, pen, eraser. Can you give me some more? Another example? Shoes. Shoes. Mm, all right. Shoe. Shoes. Right? There you are. Mm -hmm. Cars, car, car, cars. Okay, car, cars. All right. What else? Another one that comes Window, to windows. Excellent. Window, windows. windows. Mm -hmm. Tab table, tables. Excellent. We just add letter S. All right, let's go and see the next rule. This is just to <laughs> complicate a little more the things, all right? So we are going to add ES, okay? At the end of the words with CH, SH, S, SS, X, or Z to make the plural, all right? We have, for example, hairbrush, her brushes, that sound requires an ES at the end, all right? Hair brushes, all right? Hair brushes. Toothbrush or toothbrush, toothbrushes, okay. Church, churches, all right? Church, churches. Tiene que sonar este ES, okay? Dish, dishes. Así bien sutilmente ese sh, all right? Como una e arrepentida, okay? Tax, taxes. Tax, taxes. Buzz, buses. Buzz, buzzes, all right? Box, boxes. You see, we have letter X, we have letter Z, we have, well, with the double S, we have boss, right? Okay. So, if we want, okay, to say this, let's remember, there is a hairbrush, okay? There is a hairbrush, okay? There are hairbrushes, or the number, right? Or the number, there are five hairbrushes on the table, right? So, we can perfectly say that. Okay, this is just remembering because I know that you know this, but we want to uh, remark, all right? Recall it. When the letter before a Y is a consonant, change the Y to an I before adding an AS, all right? This is a different kind of noun. They end with letter Y, but it's a syllable, right? It's a syllable. Aquí no, a syllable. Aquí no tenemos una, eh, un sonido de vocal a la par de la Y, ¿verdad? Tenemos una consonante, ¿sí? Es una sílaba normal, ¿ok? Company, companies. Reply, replies. City, cities. We can say city and cities. Family, families. Responsibility, responsibilities. Lady, ladies. Baby, babies, right? No vamos a decir baby ass. No, babies. A little longer, but it's babies. Okay. Then we have another rule. Estamos bien hasta aquí, verdad? All right. When the word uh, ends in a letter O, okay, 
then we are going to add es tomato tomatoes potato potatoes hero heroes all right let's remember that plural is for nouns for nouns right so we have this other when they end with a letter f or f e look life knife wolf letter f or f e then we change this letter f to a v all right life there is a life out there right uh-huh there are lives to save yeah okay knife knife we use a knife there is a knife on top, right? There is a knife. Okay, there are three knives. There are three knives, all right? Vemos la diferencia. Aquí es knife, miren, the sound, and knives, knives, all right? Wolf, wolf, wolves, wolves, right? Wolves, all right. Are we okay so far? Are we okay so far? Yeah, I think so. All but, right. Uh, my question is, uh, it all depends on the ending of the word or the verb? No, in this case, it depends on the ending, right? It depends on the ending, how we make the plural coming from the singular, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Yes, okay. These are rules to make a singular, to make it plural, all right? Okay, then we have uh, in the plural thing, okay? Uh, como la mayoría son con letra S al final, ¿verdad? Esas son como fáciles, ¿verdad? Pero hay otras que debemos memorizarlas porque no hay otra manera de aprenderlas, ¿ok? Hay que investigarlas, las que no sabemos, ¿ok? Y e ir haciendo nuestro propio vocabulario de las formas irregulares. ¿Qué quiere decir irregular? Que cambia, ¿verdad? Entonces, <clears throat> these are irregular, irregular plural nouns. Why? <clears throat> Just one second, I will erase this. Why? Because they change the form. For example, men changed into men, right? Man, men, man, men, child, children, foot, feet, woman, women, person, people. Van a escuchar un poco acerca de persons, pero esa es otra historia. Ahorita manejamos person, one, people, from two, and on. All right? Entonces hay que ir aprendiendo un poquito estos irregular, ¿verdad? Otros irregular son los que no cambian. Sometimes a noun may stay the same in both. It's regular and plural form. All right? Yo puedo decir. There is fish, all right? And there is a fish, all right? There is, I'm sorry, there is a fish and there are fish, I'm sorry, okay? There is a fish and there are fish, okay? Es lo mismo, no vamos a decir fishes, right? Okay, what about deer? Deer, the same. One deer, two deer, all right? Tuna. Okay, uh, it's not tunas, it's tuna. There is a tuna, okay, and there are tuna, okay. Uh, sheep, oh, I'm sorry, sheep, sheep, it's kind of long, right? So we say there is a sheep and there are sheep, okay. The whole group of sheep. All right. Series. Netflix series. 
uh, a series. Mm, okay, there are series. Yeah, and there is a series. All right, they don't change. They don't change. It's the same word for both. Okay, then we have other nouns that they only have a plural form, all right? They only have a plural form. No vamos a decir there is a pant. Mm -mm. No, un pantalón. En español sí decimos un pantalón. In English, we can't say that because we have two legs, so we have pants, all right? Scissors. Scissors, they count one piece and the other piece so both are scissors so it's plural always plural now sunglasses we have two eyes so that's why they are glasses right glasses sunglasses those for uh when there is too much light out there right pajamas 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 it's a suit it has the shirt and the pants, right? So it comes together and it's always plural. We are not going to say, uh, we are not going to say um, there is a pajama. Mm -mm. There are pajamas, all right? Now, what about shorts? Los chores, eh? que decimos nosotros, chores. So it's the same thing as pants, right? There are things that are always Plural. So you can look up a list of nouns that are always plural. All right. Hasta ahí estamos bien. Estamos bien? Yeah. Okay. So the collective nouns. Okay. Vamos todavía un poquito así como cargando la carga grande, ¿verdad? Vamos con una carga grande de varias reglas, pero al final ya van a ver que es en práctica es más tranquilo, ¿ok? Porque ya lo sabemos. Ahorita lo estamos visualizando uno por uno. Okay. A collective noun is a name for a group of people or things such as family, class, pack, bouquet, hair, and flock, we can say any other, right? Um, the collective nouns are, uh, <clears throat> usually they take a singular verb in, uh, in, with another, right? Because we say, for example, um, there is a family, okay? Y van a poder tomar, they can take the rule. Ok, pueden tomar la regla de lo que ya dijimos, ¿sí? Pero para otros verbos puede ser que el agreement sea en plural cuando se refiere a cada uno individualmente de los miembros, ¿ok? Eso lo van a, a ver un poquito más adelante. Por el momento sabemos que los collective nouns van a seguir la regla de los demás eh, eh, Singular to plural, right? Si es family, termina en Y, entonces le voy a cambiar la I y le voy a poner la ES, okay? A family, two families, right? Okay. Vamos entonces a hacer un pequeño ejercicio, okay? Vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. This exercise is that you are going to write the plural, the plural for each noun in this chart, all right? Plural in the char. Here we go. <clears throat> Here it is. Okay, I have it right here. Okay, then. 
todos pensando, everybody thinking. Okay, here we are. The first one, what's the plural of class? Yes, classes. Right. Places. Classes, right? Classes. Mm -hmm. Next one. Classes. Tomatoes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, uh, Rafael. Can you repeat? Tomatoes. Uh, all right, all right. Thank you, Rosa and Rafael. Let's look at the next one. Mm -hmm. Books. Books. Okay. Books. Office. Offices. Fish. 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 All right. Scissors. Scissors. No singular, right? No singular, so it's scissors. Right, no singular. Mm -hmm. Family? Families. Families. All right. Mm -hmm. Room? Rooms. Rooms. Good. Men? Men. 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 Así, men. No tengan miedo de decir esta. Este es men y este es man. Men, all right? Men and men. Okay. What about hairbrush? Hairbrushes. Hairbrushes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Meeting. Meetings. Place? Places. Okay, city. Cities. Cities. Okay, solo alargamos un poquito esa ahí. Okay, decimos cities. All right? Or cities. Live. Live. Lives. Leaves. Yes. Uh, All right. mm -hmm. yes. Let's remember letter F change yeah. into a V. All right. Go. Oja, hojas. Live. Lives. All right. <clears throat> Foot. Feet. 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 Yes. I. Ice. Ice. Exactly. Ice. Ice, así como se oye como el hielo, ice. Right? Ice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Person. People. Okay. Seat. 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 Right? Seat. Asiento. All right. Here we go. Esto lo van a ir tomando todavía aún más con la práctica, ¿ok? Ya poniendo el sentido en las reglas de singular y plural, ¿ok? Cuando ustedes quieran hacer un plural, traigan a memoria estas normas, ¿ok? These rules. I will stop sharing and let's go to our manuals. Y vamos a ver cómo se hacen las preguntas. How do we ask questions using there is and there are, right? We are going to change the verb be to the beginning, okay? And we're going to say, is there, are there, All right? <clears throat> and here we go.
Okay, let's read the instructions. Hernan, can you read please the instructions? Listen to your, uh, listen to your teacher read the conversion, then practice it while a partner. Mrs. Uh, Jenner is supervising a new branch and they ask about the location of the place in the branch. Thank you very much. She is <clears throat> visiting the company. It's a new branch, okay? And she is supervising, but she is asking for the location of the places and the building. So that's the use of there is and there are, right? And also, we are going to learn a new um, question to ask how to get to one of these places, all right? But first, let's, let's read this conversation. At the end here, it says Mrs. Jenner, pero aquí al final es Michael, okay? Al final es Michael. Está repetido el Miss Jenner, así que no nos vayamos a confundir. All right. <clears throat> Good morning. Ah, en esta hay bastante typos, ¿ok? Hay bastante typos, así que ustedes, ojo así, ¿verdad? Poniendo listo el ojo y donde hay un error, ustedes corrigen, all right? Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Fíjense que en inglés Perez no nos dicen Perez. Usually they call us Perez, all right? When, uh, porque como no hay tilde, En, en el inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, normalmente dicen Perez. Okay, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? <clears throat> yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. All right. Okay, I will read it again. Good morning, are you Michael Perez? Good morning, yes I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, or nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in the conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing, all right? Take 30 seconds and read the conversation moving your lips, please. Teacher, tell me. I have a question uh, mm -hmm. about the word uh, lounge mm -hmm. and hall. Mm. Uh, yesterday we said something about the um, uh, multi purpose thing, right? But the lounge is um, it's a place where you can walk and stay, all right? But the hall is a place where you just go and buy, right? Go buy, go buy, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lounge, yeah. it's an area, right? A narrow? Area. Not exactly narrow, but it's not big, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. There you are. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Is there any other question? Yes, teacher. Tell me, where. Another word, uh, scissors and tongue. Oh, scissors, those are for paper and the tongues are for wire, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm, I didn't understand of wire. Wire, alambre, okay. Uh, ah, okay. Es que um, tongues son ya herramienta eh, de, eh, de crafts o de un electricista. Ah, de trabajo. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. That's an okay. instrument, a different one. Okay. All right. Gracias. Okay. Is there any other? Sorry, teacher, what, what is supervisor on duty? Oh, supervisor on duty means that she is not the, um, uh, the person in that position for that branch uh, permanently. It's just for the day, it's just for a certain period of time, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. She's over the supervisor that is right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we okay so far with this conversation? Okay, then. Here we've got some questions down. Okay, down here. We have to complete the questions about the conversation. What are we going to use? Is there or are there, right? And we have to write the answers according to the conversation. So let's go to the breakout rooms. I'm sorry, and let's do this activity. Hello, Blanca. Couldn't you join? Blanca? Empiecen ustedes dos, entonces después me uno yo. Ok, la tienen a la mano para compartir la pantalla. No, sí. yo no, no la tengo a la mano. Ahí está. Ah, ya, ok. Ok. 
Good morning. Are you Michael Pierce? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Mrs. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats up for listener? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunches or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building room. Okay. Okay. Va, entonces. Ahora la casa que es de Rosa y después. Bye. Okay. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jen Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference? A conference? A conference room in here? And if so, are there now seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lunch? How about lunch or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good, good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jim Turner. I, I'm the supervisor on Dari. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. And how about lunches or recreation places in there alone? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay. Okay. Bueno, creo que es una práctica. Long, o hay salones de conferencias or is there a conference room hay un salón de conferencias yes it is yes is it or it is there is there is there is yes there is is next to the training room Ajá. Pero yo creo que con yes the is, is, is enough. Ah, si no quieres conversar con la persona que te pregunta, is enough. <laughs> ah, cabal, cabal. If Ahí you are a man of, of uh, ¿cómo se dice? Pocas palabras. Few words. Uh, a few words. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, pero eso es... Welcome, teacher. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yes, here I am. I was just watching, right? Uh, what happened yeah. with number? I don't know. He's gone already. I don't know where he okay. is. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope. Okay. I, I hope it is good. Oh, all right. Yeah, maybe he's eating some ants. There, there are a lot of ants here. All right, guys, look, if you see the answer could be yes, no answer, right? So you can say yes, there is, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. And then uh, period, right? And then you explain what you want to say. So you can mix, 
right? Yes, there is. It is next to, right? You have okay. always mm -hmm, yeah. to answer that way too, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, when you practice again? I'm sorry? Uh, I I say to Elenilson, did you, okay, okay. Do you want to practice on it? Oh yeah, yeah. If you want, go ahead. Okay, first you. Okay. Good morning. Are you Miss Michael Perez? Perez. <laughs> Perez. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, my name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss uh, Miss Jenner. Okay, likewise. Uh, let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And uh, if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is in next to the training room. Okay, got it. How about lunch or recreational places? Is there a lunch? Yes, it's it is from the of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Ya no voy a sacar Eric. Eric, voy a poner tu nombre porque va a ser que me pregunte con quién estuve. No, here I am. Please continue practicing. Eric, come. Continue with your practice. I want to hear you. Tiene problemas de conexión, teacher. Oh, really? Oh. Se le escuchaba algo robótico. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Voy a comenzar otra vez. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name okay, is Jane Jenner. Uh, good morning. I. Okay. Okay. Then. Dele, 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 Eric. Okay, voy a empezar nuevamente. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Dele, dele. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jenner. I am the supervisor on Dory. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Je Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there angles seats for listening? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Go it. How about lunch or recreation place? Is there a lunch? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building. Bank. Okay, I'm coming to you. Teacher. Yes, okay, tell me. Do, que hay dos veces, ¿verdad? Que la Miss Jenner... Mm -hmm. a hablar, exactly, it's a mistake. And... Ella misma se contesta. Uh -huh. <laughs> but look, the word enough. Have you seen over there? It says, are there enough seats for listeners? Right? Esa palabra se pronuncia enough. Con una F. No. Ese no es eno, ni enu. Es enough. All right? Enough. Enough. Oh, okay. Quiere decir suficientes. All right? enough seats for listeners and enough. this other is lounge lounges 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 oh, okay in plural because enough. one enough. is lounge uh -huh. look at this one lounge lounge uh -huh. lounge oh, okay. and the other one lounge, lounge. yes Rafael. lounge lounge uh-huh con yeah. ese no, como que fuera una che, eh, lounge, cuando es uno, ¿verdad? 
Luego, cu ah. ajá, cuando es plural, es lounges. ¿Ok? Ok. Mire, ahí está, lounge. Aquí arriba está en plural, lounge. La, I'm sorry, dice lounges. Y abajo lounge. está en singular, lounge. ¿Ok? Lounge. A ver. Ajá. Vaya, y en la parte de arriba de eso, de donde estamos, dice the conference room. Ese in no es in, es is. Okay. Ah, es, es. Ajá. Ah, okay. Ese, por eso les decía que hay bastantes como errores de tipografía ahí, pero hay que irlos detectando, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ahí sería is. Uh -huh. Y ahí arriba, si se fijan, le falta la e a r, ¿ok? Sí, así me fijé. Ajá. Hay que ponerle ahí r. Ahora, you have to answer these questions. Complete the question and answer the question. Okay. Okay. See you later, guys. Continue working. Okay. <clears throat> Easy. The correctional places is there a lounge? Yes, it is. In front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. Good morning, are you Michelle Perez? Good morning, yes, I am. My name is Jenny Janner. I am the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Janner. Let's Quiera estar. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough cell phone listening? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Get up. Uh, how about Laura or the correctional places? Is there a law? Yes, it is. In front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. Uh, okay. okay, good. I'm sorry, here I am. I was okay. just watching. Okay, look, en esta parte donde dice, yes, absolutely, the conference room, ese in no es in, it's is, all right? So if you can correct it, it's is next, right? The conference room is next to the training room. Okay, okay. ahí está equivocado. Y al principio hay que agregarle la letra E, R. Ok. Good morning. Vaya, eso que les decía yo del apellido Pérez o Pérez, ok, es para los americanos y a veces es más sencillo que nos entiendan, ¿verdad? Pero el nombre acá es Michael Pérez, all right? Michael Pérez. Un americano lo diría Michael Pérez, ok? Ok, y la otra cosa, este es lounge, lounge, singular, plural, Lounges, all right? Uh, lounges. Mm -hmm. Tiene que sonar, miren acá, dice, al, al principio dice, how about lounges? Lounges. Y luego dice, is there a lounge? Ok. Ahí hay que hacer esa diferencia de pronunciaciones. Plural and singular. All right? Uh, all right. Ok, continue, guys, continue. And then you have to complete the questions Below. Okay. Yes. Now yes. it's complete. Oh, okay. Yes. Very good. The, uh, but you didn't answer them. Are there? Ah, yes, yes. Yes, you have to answer them. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, good okay. morning. Are you Michelle Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jenny Janner, I am the supervisor on Dirty. Nice to meet you.
me acuerdo haberte visto con... Ok, entonces comenzamos a practicar otra vez. ¿no? Démosle. Comienzo yo. Good morning. Ok. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jan Jenner. I am the supervisor and duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a comfort room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listener? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Great. How about lounges or recreation places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, of course. The question number one, are there enough Hello, Jose Abel. Hello, Andrea. Hello, teacher. Jose Abel, lo pasé para acá porque estaba usted solito. Uh, y aquí estaba Andrea. Eh, con Andrea sí, este... hicimos, con otros dos estuvimos en, la, en el breakout room. Y ahí hicimos Por eso la lo pasé para acá de regreso, porque cuando ella se salió, este, quedó usted solito ahí, ¿verdad? Yo no me fijé en realidad qué era lo que pasaba y dije yo mejor lo voy a mandar allá, <ríe> ¿ok? No, pero ya habíamos okay. finalizado. Sí. Ok, you may practice. Yo sigo, yo sigo con mi problema que me saca de la plataforma, hoy estoy con mi teléfono, siempre se me sale, no sé, ya no sé qué hacer. Oh, God, eh, ahí sí que habría que ver, eh, bueno, ya lo actualizó, ya le buscó, sí. ya lo desinstaló y lo volvió a instalar. ¿Le borró el caché? Sí. Todo, teacher. Ay, santo señor. All right, well, uh, in that case, I really can't tell you any, anything else because, well, that's a troubleshooting we do, right? But if it shows up uh, an error, si le aparece un mensaje de error, hay que googlearlo. No le aparece sí, un mensaje de error. No, solo me saca de un solo. O oh, no le dice error número tal. No, okay. de mi teléfono me saca de un solo. Y en mi computadora, cuando ya estoy en los break rooms, este, me quedo sin audio. No puedo ni hablar ni puedo escucharlo. Ajá. Y el módulo pasado no, no, no tuve ese problema. Nada Mire, y le dio en la flechita de configuración de audio para probar. Puede sí. ser, usted está usando audífonos. No, el, el audio del, de la computadora. De la computadora, ok. Sí. Y... Yo creería que quizás alguna actualización es porque a mí también me pasó lo mismo con mi máquina y que instale Zoom. Ajá, uh -huh. Ok. Pero fíjese que, o sea, lo desinstalé, lo volví a instalar, todo de la computadora y lo mismo, y, y en el celular me, me da error. No sé qué pasa, no sé si es mi correo o, o algo, no sé, pero algo tiene que ser. Sí, algo tiene que ser. Hay que buscarle el... Dígame, Karen. It's time to attendance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Uh, bueno, Andrea, lo que podemos hacer, lo que podemos hacer es que cuando usted, eh, cuando sea la hora de irnos al break room, le voy a, la voy a regresar al main room con el grupo que usted quede, ¿ok? Y ahí ya puedan trabajar, probablemente así le dé chance. Ok. Ok, bien. Please, everybody, get ready. I am going to call the roll. So, please... Turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, you say present. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca, okay, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Carlos Roberto se nos desconectó. He isn't here yet. All right. This. Thank you. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. 
Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Es que habíamos 19 conectados y ahora solo hay 17. Por eso digo que oh, se me han desconectado. Vamos a ver. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. ¿Verdad que ella estuvo y puso algo? No, hoy no, ¿verdad? Okay. Vamos a ver. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Ok, Javier, uh, Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Juan, are you there? Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Mr. Barrera. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. He told me he was going to be a, a listener tonight. Teacher. Tell me. Present in the present chat. Okay. Thank you, Juan. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. No Santos yet. Okay, maybe something happens to him. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Okay, Wilber. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Ok, Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. So, people, we are going to continue teacher. with this. Tell me. Creo que no me mencionó. Eric. Y ahí vamos a decir, Isa, marchó. No. <laughs> yeah, ok. Ok, Eric. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ok, people. So, <clears throat> let's listen to... Uh, we are going to say this. Uh, Pedro and Magdiel, roll the conversation, please. I will share the screen with you. Just give me a second. Here we are. One moment. Okay. Please roll the conversation. Bye. Tomemos en cuenta de que aquí le falta la letra E, ¿verdad? Aquí le es, en vez de in, es is, ¿ok? Y cuando okay. decimos el plural, es lounges. Y cuando decimos el singular, es lounge, ¿ok? Miren okay. la diferencia, lounges and lounge. Ok, vamos a ver. Let's get started, okay. guys. Ok, good morning. You may start. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning, yes I am. My name is Jen Jenner and I'm the supervisor in theory. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listener? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Go ahead. How about lounges or recreation places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay. Very good job. Very good job. So let's listen to another cup, uh, pair here. I'm going to say. Uh, so please, Eric Jose, Eric Jose. Yes. Okay. Eh, está Rafael Antonio. Creo que se desconectó, ¿verdad? Rafael Antonio. Sí, okay. se desconectó. Eh, cuando tomé lista no estaba. Entonces, Rafael Alexander, can you help me with Eric, please? Roll the conversation. Okay. Okay, I started. Uh, good morning. Are you Michael Perez? 
Uh, good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Hem Jenner. I'm the supervisor on Duri. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let, uh, let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And um, if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in next to the training room. Go ahead. Uh, how about lodges or recreational place? Is there a lodge? Yes, it is. It's from of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Very good. So look at key is is next. Okay, no, it's in. Okay, the conference room is next. Okay, that was an, a typo. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And y acordémonos, la pronunciación es got it. Okay, got it. All right, got it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Hay una canción, no sé si ya la han oído. Eh, que dice, en el cati, 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 pero bien bonito ese pedacito, ¿verdad? Pero luego lo va modificando hasta, got it, got it going on, right? Eh, pero la pronunciación, the common one, or the colloquial is, got it, ga, got it, okay? You guys okay? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, now the next pair is going to share the questions and answers. All right. So let's look at the questions and answers uh, that Hernan and Karen structured. All right. Question? Okay. Yes. And, okay. and your classmate is going to answer. All right. Okay. Are there enough seats for listeners? Hernan? Hola. Hello. You give the answer. Okay. Um, yes, absolutely. Are there enough seats for listening? Again, can you repeat it? Esa era la pregunta, nos está yes. el comentario, ¿verdad? Yes, Ajá. yes, no, no. Mhm. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Mhm. Mm Solo pusieron eso como respuesta? Yes, absolutely. Yes. All yes. right. All yeah. right. Okay. Then, the next question, next couple. Let's look at the next group is Mm, Wilber and Claudia, please. Is there a conference room? Mm -hmm. What is the answer, Claudia? Yes. <laughs> so. I'm sorry, Claudia. Help, Wilber. Okay. Uh, yes, absolutely. The copper room is next to the toilet room. Okay. Para los dos me contestaron, yes, absolutely, ¿verdad? Ok, la respuesta que nosotros damos cuando nos preguntan, acordémonos que vamos a volver a lo básico, ¿verdad? Lo básico es volver There a... Are... Ajá. Eh, vamos... I forgot it. Ok, There ajá. Are... Entonces... In the first ac... one, in the second one, no. <laughs> ok, but in the first one, in the first one, let's look at this is in Pluto, right? Mm -hmm. It's in Pluto. Are there enough seats for listeners? And if you answer, it, 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 this is a direct question, so you have to answer with a yes or no answer. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. There 
are. There are. Okay. Yes, there are. Wow. Yes, yes, there are. Yes, there is. Correct. Okay. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. Y así hemos dicho, sí, hombre, right? Así decimos sí. Okay. Tenemos que usar el, eh, la forma con la que nos están preguntando. Entonces, siempre eso nos va a ser un poquito más fácil contestar. And let's remember. Short questions, I mean, short answers to direct questions. Are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, there are. Is there a conference room? Yes, there is. All right, because they are talking in singular and in the first one, it's in plural, right? It's in plural. All right, this is the complicated part, okay? This is the complicated part because we have two different kind of answers, all right? If it is singular and if it is plural. All right. Sure. Tell me. But if you think that is complicated, because uh, if you think well, the the uh, question have the answer, right? Yes, correct. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Yes, it makes this thing easier. All right. It makes this thing easier because you have to uh, uh, watch what they are using and then you use that imitating, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Okay, let's go to the next page. In the next page, we have the um, grammar part, all right? The grammar part. Ah, stop sharing. No, the grammar part is on page. 22, okay? How to use there is and there are in questions. So let's look at this. According to this, according to this, it's going to be easier for us, all right? This is a kind of a guide. This is a kind of a guide. So look at the words in bold and complete the statement in the box. Veamos estas y vamos a definir estos dos conceptos, okay? So number one, who wants to read it? Say your name if you want to read it. Me, teacher. Okay, Blanca. Is there a meeting room in your company? Great. Number two. Who wants to read number two? I teach it. Okay, please. Is Go. there a, is there a training plan in your workplace? Thank you very much, Claudia. Number three, who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please, Helen Nilsson. Are there enough representatives? Excellent. Number four, who wants to read it? Are there many restrooms in your work? Very good. According to this, to ask singular questions we use. Mm -hmm. We use. What's that teacher, I'm sorry. Is Aquí that... vamos a completar, exactly. Uh -huh. To ask singular questions we use. Okay, is there. Yes, is there, right? And for plural? Are there. Are there. Excellent. Are there. There you are. Y como son, repito, son preguntas directas, respuestas cortas, right? Short answers. Eso no quiere decir que yo no puedo contestar con una explicación, ¿verdad? Como decíamos, no somos cortantes, ¿verdad? Sino que decimos, yes, there is. And then we give the directions how to get to that place, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue here. And it says, right, I will delete this to move, to move down. All right, number five, it says, write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. 
use the words in parentheses, all right? Bye, acá me voy a poner en silencio, okay? Y vamos a ver who wants to be the moderator tonight. ¿Quién quiere ser el moderador este día? Only one, please. Eh, no se peleen, qué bárbaro. Miren después, ay no, me quedo yo sentida porque. <laughs> okay, I know. Carlos Ernesto wants to be the moderator. I know that you would like to. All right, Carlos Ernesto Perez, please. You are going to be the moderator and you are going to uh, guide your um, classmates to answer, right? Or to give them opinions here. There you are. You may start, Carlos Ernesto. Okay, okay, guys, please. Um, Teacher, ¿y puedo escribir acá? Yes, you may. Try to, try to, okay, give a try. Give a try. Yes. Yeah, teacher. Are you there? Okay. Are there? Hello. Are there training room? No sé si hay que agregarle algo más ahí. <laughs> ya no me deja que hable. Are there, excuse me, repeat please, Rosa. Training rooms? Uh, are there hot training rooms? Sí. Carlos, you have to select the box uh, again. You have to select. Click on the menu where it says select or seleccionar. Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay. Continue asking, Carlos. Move all of them, all right? You have to include okay. all your classmates in the activity. Okay. Classmate, please, the um, question three. Tell me the question three. Go guys. Guys. <laughs> I need to help. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
is there a is there a doctor on site clinic? Uh -huh, okay. O salud tenía que ser. No me deja corregir aquí. Winder, please repeat, please. Uh, is there a doctor on the clinic? Don't be shy, Carlos. Talk to them. Okay, everybody, help Carlos. See. Are there many Are restrooms? there any restroom in this building? Because we are talking about a number of restrooms, right? For the answer. Are there any restrooms in this building or inside the building? Carlos, if you want, I can help you. Would you like me to help you? Excuse me, teacher, I, I write now. Okay, go ahead. See, Karen? You miss a E, a letter E. In there. Que no me deja reeditar, sino que tengo que volver a escribir. Doble clic sobre la oración. No me deja. Oh my. Yo creo que está bien, ya la entendemos todos ahí. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, pero no, no problem, no, Carlos. You no are doing editar. your best. 
you are doing your best and this is uh, what it's worthy, all right? So let's look at number three because number three was erased, was deleted. Uh-huh. Yes, do you have it on your site? Carlos? Hola. Do you have it Hello. on your site? Si, si la tiene, usted si la visualiza? No, no, es que se, se me borró otra vez. Ok, la voy a escribir yo, ok, para que eh, continuemos con la actividad de leer y comprender, ok, the comprehension thing. Ok, we said, uh, can you re, uh, remind me what was this question? Mm -hmm. Is there a doctor okay. on site clinic? <clears throat> Okay, if we talk about a doctor here, <clears throat> yeah, if we talk about, about a doctor, mm, well, podríamos decir simplemente, no, there isn't, all right? No, there isn't. Y hasta ahí estaría bien, okay? But when we're talking about this place, they are telling us, all right, is there, is there, Y como empieza con vocal, ok, toda la frase sería la clínica del lugar, ¿verdad? O la, la clínica interna, all right? Sería uh, an on-site clinic, all right? Is there an on-site clinic? It's a compound noun, ok? It's a compound noun, right? It has more than one word. So we're going to say, is there an on-site clinic? Y podemos ponerle un complemento in your company. Okay. Is there an on-site clinic in your company? No, there is not one. All right. And it says no, no, I, right? There, uh, no, there is not one. All right. What about this one? Are there many restaurants inside the building? I think it is correct, say many. We could say any also, right? Any. We could say any, but many, it's good too. It has, it makes sense, right? It makes sense if it says there are five restrooms. Okay, it's more than two and more than three, right? So many, okay, many restrooms. Because, uh-huh. Solo Eh, puesto any, uh -huh. es eh, como un, alguien que hubiera preguntado una pregunta negativa, por decirlo así. No, no necessarily, no. Any means, en este caso, eh, any se usa para preguntas y para las respuestas negativas. Ok, en la respuesta positiva sería some, ¿verdad? Y en las preguntas, esa es la regla general, decir any, para decir eh, eh, alguna, ok. Para decir algún, alguna. Entonces, claro que sí. Dígame, Rafael. Tell me, Rafael. Uh, yo tengo la, la misma impresión, pero uh -huh. cuando, cuando se dice negativo, no, no que sea eh, negativo estricto de la palabra, sino que malo. negativo como, ajá, como malo. Uh -huh. ah, algún, como, ajá, como que ha pasado una mala experiencia y pregunta. Uh -huh. En cambio, es como una pregunta que denota insuficiencia, pero mm -hmm. si le ponemos eh, men, many, es mm -hmm. como que una pregunta que denota que hay abundancia. Exactly, but it's not, it's not bad say any, y tampoco tiene una connotación de que estoy diciéndolo como que, asumiendo que no hay. Mm -mm. No, that's the correct way to ask, okay, that's the correct way to ask any. Ok, para decir hay algún, ok, hay alguna, so that's the word, any. Y si yo digo many, asumo que pues sí hay, ¿verdad? Claro que hay. Maybe I saw one already or I used one. And now I know there are bathrooms right there. So we could say that there are some, a, a, a lot of bath, bathrooms maybe, right? So I can ask, are there many restrooms inside the building because I assume that there are, right? That there are restrooms, okay? Kind of. Mm -hmm. 
sí, sí me doy a entender? Teacher. Tell me. But in the cases of any, mm -hmm. I get that it is uh, ninguno. Mm -hmm. uh, en este caso, estamos dando la posibilidad, ¿ok? Ninguno sería en una oración eh, negativa, ¿ok? Ahí yo diría, por ejemplo, are there any restaurants inside the building? Y si yo le digo que no hay, all right, yo le puedo decir como dice aquí arriba, no, there are not any, ¿ok? Así como okay. está en la number two. Allí sí dice ninguno, no, no hay ninguno, right? Just in, just in negative. In negative, yes. And negative sentences, then it that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. But in questions, it's just uh, like giving the possibility, uh, and also any uh, itself means uh, whichever, right? Which or what? Any, right? Cualquiera. But in the question, it means algún o algún. Okay. Okay, are we okay so far? Are we okay so far? Is there any other question? All right. I will think that there is no more questions. A ver, vamos a ver. There isn't any, right? A ver. I will give you a link. This is a very basic thing, all right? This is a very basic thing. Solo para recordar un poquito. Any lo vamos a utilizar. Uh, I'm sorry. Any lo vamos a utilizar. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any lo vamos a utilizar with plural nouns and also with non count, okay, with non count, los no contables, ¿verdad? ahí vamos a usar any, okay, there you are. Vaya, entonces, como eso es bien básico, les voy a pasar este link que es bastante básico solo para ubicar el there is, el there are with plural, right, or with singular. Here it is. This is kind of easy. It's going to give us a wider idea. Okay, here we go. At the end, please send the screenshot, okay, with your grade or with your score. If you have questions, you may comment, okay? You may ask. Are we going to fill in? Yes, please. Finish teacher. All right. Yes, I saw your screenshot. Was yours? Was it yours? Yes. Ah, Jose. Right. Good. There you are, Alejandra. Why is it 97? Because I have 
two mistakes. All right. When when in the part of talk about any, mm -hmm. I yo puse are there in it does any water. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. was is there. Okay. Yes. Because for plural. We are going to use any, but it has to say are there, right? And for uncount nouns, it has to take is there, right? Is there any milk? Is there any water? Is there any rice? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was seeing was in plural because it's uncountable. Which one? Water? Water, yes. Mm -hmm. Uncountable takes is there, right? Uncountable takes is there. Not are there, is there. For plural, then we use are there, all right? Okay. Good. Okay, very good, guys. Very good. So let's remember, is there any water left? Esa palabra left es como si queda, ¿ok? Y queda agua, vos, right? Is there any water left? ¿Verdad? Is there any milk left? ¿Ok? ¿Hay leche todavía, vos? Eso, más o menos así, right? Sort of, sort of. So, um, is there any wine left right is there any wine left in favorite. the bottle <laughs> i was gonna I, I was waiting for someone to say something <laughs> uh, yeah all right uh, all right so the uncount nouns takes take is there any okay is there any okay and plural are there any rooms uh, unoccupied, como dijo Henry last night, right? Okay, guys, so now you see this is with practice that you are going to master it, all right? So right now, what I want you to do is think about the activity from yesterday. We were talking about San Salvador, okay? Mm -hmm. And we said some sentences. There is a national theater. There is a, a monument right in the middle, right? Of the Liberty Park, right? There is a monument. I don't remember how you said it. But yes, so now let's visualize, okay, on the chat, tratemos de recordar y escribir, let's try to recall and write these um, sentences describing El Salvador or San Salvador, downtown, using any, are there, is there, all right, lo vamos a hacer pregunta. Okay, so is there any, um, let's say, police station in downtown? You sure. Tell me. I just in my mind, uh, Luna Negra. Oh. <laughs> Luz Negra, because uh, Karen <laughs> called us about yeah. Luna Negra. <laughs> Okay, then, uh -huh. you, can, you can use that one. You can use that one. Mire, mi corrector siempre me tilda, okay? Mi, mi corrector siempre me tilda y me puso police, pero es police, right? Police station. Yeah, Luz Negra. So you can write something about that. Is there, um, is there service, right? At Luz Negra tonight, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Is there a Black Dahlia in the downtown? Good. <laughs> Portal. Portal. Okay. I'm sorry. El Portal de la Dahlia. Okay. Ah, sorry. Yeah. 
Do you understand me? Okay. <laughs> Do you understand me? Okay, I want to see your sentences, guys. A ver, todos, que se mueve ese chat with, sent uh, with questions, with questions. Are there, is there? Is there any police station in the downtown, guys? Uh-huh. Yes. Do you Castillo. know, okay, do you know how to get there? If I am in, in the cathedral, how to get there? Is near to the, I have, oh my. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's near to, to the street, uh, to San Jacinto. Okay. Ah, the street. It's a, it's a big building. That goes to San Jacinto. The name that's visible is El Castillo. Okay. It's okay. where you uh, get a um, solvencia. All no, right. Uh huh. There is a, a police station too. All right. All right. Good. Yes, there is. Every city has a police station. Excellent, Blanca. You got it. How can I get there, Blanca? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Blanca. Sorry, repeat the question. How can I get there? ¿Cómo puedo mm -hmm. llegar? Yes. Mm. Usually, usually the police station has um in the city but mm. don't worry easy easy <laughs> breathe in breathe out and let's think about how to get there can i go okay. by bus can i go walking how can i get to the police station it depends okay. because you are near the police station you can go go there walk but if you are far you need to take a bus all right okay thank you but look at ellen nielsen said how can i get uh-huh luz negra how can i get to luz negra where are you located ellen nielsen where are you located? Are you near San Salvador? Yeah, I'm Sayapango City in oh, the Bronx. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> let's know. let's give a reference point. All right? Let's give a reference point. If we say, for example, mm, you go to blocks, right? You go two blocks down the street, all right? Down the street yeah. from Cathedral, uh-huh. Where is exactly, Karen? I don't remember. Where is it exactly? Uh, Karen. Luz Negra. Uh-huh. Yeah. Behind, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is it behind. Is two places down to the theater, National two. Theater. Two places? Uh, oh, all oh, right. Uh, yeah, all right. Like parks. Like parks. Okay. No. Actually, what, what can I take? In, in the in the corner is the the National Theater, right? Okay. Karen. Tell me. Do you hear me? <laughs> what bus can I get? <laughs> all right. Oh, depend. <laughs> if you live in Sayapango, you can use. 41A, 41D, 41G, whatever. <laughs> she knows. But the problem yeah. at the moment yeah. is that you right. walk <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I, to yeah I got you. I got you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Adrenaline. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> you just get to the Liberty Place or the Liberty Park, and then you ask someone, What bus can I take? <laughs> right? What bus can I take? All right. Don't worry. Uh, let's look at this. It says, is there a metro center in the down downtown? Metro center is like a mall. Eric, do you refer a mall? Metro what? center, quizá. 
Okay. Yeah, that's what I relate. Uh huh. I associate this with Metro Central too, but maybe he is talking about a mall, right? Okay. Okay. Is there a mall in the downtown? Uh huh. What do you think, guys? <laughs> a lot of malls, right? There are, there are, hay una palabra, several, several, la voy a escribir. Several is more than many, okay? Several, yeah? More than many, a lot, and more than a lot, okay? Several. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another question, guys, come on, come on. Oh, there is a dog in the park. There is a man at the door. Very good. There is a bus stop on the corner. Very good. Very good. Ahora, preguntemos, preguntemos. Is there a bus stop? Okay, Claudia. Is there a bus stop? Uh, you say on the corner, right? On the corner. Okay, así sería la pregunta. Miren, is there a bus stop on the corner? ¿Y cómo le respondemos que sí? How do we answer yes? There is. Okay, yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. Hmm? Yes, there is. Okay, another question, guys. Give me another question. Say, don't be shy. Come on, everybody, squeezing your brains. <laughs> storming, storming. Escurranlo, escurranlo. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. desprocemos las neuronas ahorita, a ver. Are there Ajá, uh -huh. some cafeterias in the downtown? Very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí podríamos decir are there any, ¿verdad? Y si quiero decir una cantidad, puedo decir many. ¿Okay? Mhm. Uh -huh. Are there? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería una respuesta para Henry? A ver. Is there a hospital in San Salvador? Para Hernán, an answer. Va, necesitamos una yes, respuesta para is. Henry. Okay, yes, there is. Uh -huh. An hospital in front of the yeah. park. Yes, there are. El que, el que, perdón, perdón, Henry. Es que son, me preguntan por cafeterías. Oh, no, no, they are answering about the hospital first. Oh, okay. That's what Ricardo said, okay? The hospital is in front the, of... The office, yes, yes, there is the hospital in, in front of the Parque Cuscatlán. Okay. Next to the... the Rosales Hospital. the Seguro Social. Okay, from, uh, so the hospital, the hospital is in front of uh -huh, Cuscatlan Park. Park. Uh -huh. Or uh, Maternidad. Okay, from the, from the, el primero de mayo. The, okay, uh -huh, maternity. El primero uh -huh. de mayo, in front of the maternity. All right. In front of. I'm sorry, teacher. My, my, uh -huh. my phone is finished the, the battery. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, but uh, you said in front of Cuscatlan Park, right? The hospital is in front of Cuscatlan Park. And no, it's opposite. Yeah, because it's behind, right? The, the entrance is not right there. Oh, yes, you're right. That's a very good point, too. Okay. I, it, I know it. <laughs> yeah, excellent. It's opposite the park. Well, Cuscatlan Park. Okay. It's opposite the park. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y le puse un question mark. Eliminenlo, right? <laughs> In your minds. Okay, it's opposite the park. A ver, me decía Henry. A ver, démosle una respuesta a Henry. Henry. Aha. Are there mm -hmm. affirmative or negative answer? Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are. There are some. Ese es el detalle. Cuando hacemos una afirmativa, 
decimos some en vez de uh -huh. any, ¿ok? Some es para affirmative sentences. So, yes, there are some. Ahora, yo le puedo preguntar, uh, are there any cafeterias in the downtown? Any. Porque es una pregunta. Entonces, la regla general es que any for questions and for negative sentences. Esa es la regla general. Now, the general rule is some for affirmative sentences, okay? Yes, there are some cafeterias, right? Okay. Podríamos decir just, yes, there are some, okay? Y como queremos saber where they are, right? So we are going to say, there are some around the central market. Yeah. Okay. Central market. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Henry, are you pleased with the answer? Risk? <laughs> yeah, Coyote Land. <laughs> okay. Then Coyote lands. <laughs> there are a sopa pata in the downtown. Yay. Pupusaloka. Yeah. <laughs> Pupusaloka. All right. Okay, guys, it's almost 10. Okay. I think we uh, achieved the objective tonight. We should have these free, I um, mean, confident conversation at the end. And we did it. We got it. Excellent. Okay. If you have no more questions, Allow me to uh, call the room. Uh, okay, teacher, uh, I had a question. Uh, uh, with the question, uh, is there a hospital in San Salvador? Uh, is possible uh, answer? Uh, uh, there are uh, many hospitals? Yes, we can say that too. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. puedes decir así. Yes, there are many hospitals. Yes, there are many hospitals. And Rafael said maternity, right? Uh, there are others from East. There are national or public hospitals like San Rafael, uh, I'm sorry, like Rosales, right? Uh, I don't know if there is any other, uh, Bloom, right? Bloom for kids, right? For children. So that's a children's hospital. All right. Cuando oigan este nombre, okay, así. Cuando oigan children's es un possessive noun, okay? Es un nombre posesivo. Porque children ya es el plural, okay? Entonces es de niños. No estamos diciendo el plural de niño, ¿verdad? Okay. El singular is child. Yes, singular okay. is child, correct. Mm -hmm. All right, no more questions? Please get ready, I am going to call the roll. So let's start the roll calling guys. And remember that you have to say present. I want to see you all. Um, antes que nos vayamos, ¿qué cosas son las que tendríamos que practicar para poder hacer preguntas de is there and are there? A ver, ¿qué son las que tenemos que considerar? A plural nouns. Uh -huh. A plural and singular nouns. Ok, plural and singular nouns. Ok, what else? Yes. Plural and singular in verbs. All right, in verbs, in okay, okay. Uh -huh. but count, yes. Countable and, uncount and uncountable, or count and, and words, count. Words in plural and, or, or singular. Yes, correct. The irregular plural nouns, right? 
the irregular plural nouns. And those are only memorizing, okay? Eso es solo, es como los verbos, hay que memorizarlos, ¿ok? Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher. Ok, Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Pre present teacher. Ok, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Ok, there you are, we were missing you. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio de... I'm sorry, Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. I'm still standing, teacher. Okay. And Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervello. No Hazel tonight, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, one second, it moves. All right. Henry Alberto Perez Rosales. Here, teacher. Okay. Hernan Antonio Chacón López. López. Present teacher. Presente. Okay. Javier, I don't know, Javier is not here. Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. Juan Francisco got disconnected, right? Ah, pues le vamos a cantar a Juan Francisco. ¿Y se marchó? No. Okay. Karen Jamilet. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ah, okay. There you are. Karen Jamilet. Rivas de Ayala hubieran hecho el TikTok ustedes, de Juan, <laughs> se lo hubieran pasado. Maidiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Ok, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. I'm still here, teacher. Ok, Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. I am here, teacher. There you are. <clears throat> Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Ok. Okay, Rosa. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. And Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Sí, present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Pedro. Present teacher. There you are. Okay, guys, remember you have to do your homework. Eh, Ellen Nilsson tenía una consulta acerca de la parte... Eh, cuatro, ¿verdad? Parte tres del de sí, examen. Sí, sí. No, okay. sí, sí, no, ¿Alguien no, ya no. adelantó hasta ahí? Ah, oh, todos. Yo sé que todos ya hicieron hasta el examen, ya van con 100 <risa> puntos. El Nilsson, usted va, mire, a la cabeza ahorita. Ok, no, ahí. Ah, ok. <risa> va, mire, en esa, lo único que tiene que hacer es poner el, eh, la palabra que va a corregir, nada más, ok, no tiene que escribir toda la oración, sino oh, que solamente, okay. por ejemplo, si es is, pone, si ahí dice are y era is, entonces pone is, si era oh. um, uh, un plural, usted pone el singular, ok, solo la muy gotcha, palabra, gotcha. all right, okay. uh, just okay. let me confirm if you need the capital letter also, because I really didn't get that, just give me one second, because I have it, oh, I don't have it anymore. One second. Uh, yes, here it is. Okay, let me check because I didn't know. Or you, you may try. You may try if it gets the capital letter or the lowercase, all right? The little one. So it was part, part, part three, right? I remember exactly. Part three. Si era la parte tres, ¿verdad? No recuerda, Ellen Nilsson, ¿qué parte era? Uh, creo que sí, pero solamente es con el there is y there are. Igual en el midterm es lo mismo, es la misma. O sea, porque traté de todas las maneras, pero poniendo la oración completa. Entonces, oh, ok. Eso okay. fue lo único que no traté. Ok, solo tiene que, cuando pruebe, porque esto me está tardando mucho en cargar y estoy deteniendo mucho acá y a todos pues estamos cansados. Entonces, eh, pruebe si le agarra capi, eh, in, in, capital initial or you need the little one. All right, the lowercase. Okay, okay, All right, okay. everybody, uh, please do your homework and you can move forward in the platform. You can work 
in advance. All right. So uh, tonight, session one on one was for is. I'm sorry, is for Eric Jose. Eric Jose Hernandez. Would you like to stay with me the 10 more minutes? Creo que esta vez no. All right. All right. Is there anyone who wants to stay with me? Everybody like, uh, right. I don't know. Uh -huh. Rafa wants. Rafa wants. Rafa. Uh-huh. Ah, he's saying like this. Or Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Who wants yeah. to stay? Nobody? All right, guys. If you don't want to stay, I'm not going to stop any. Yes, teacher, no problem. I'm not For going. Me. Antonio, do you want to stay? All right. All right, everybody. Have a very good night. Rafael is uh, staying with night. you. Night. Right. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Tomorrow. Good night. All right. Good I'll see night. See you tomorrow, everyone. Okay. See you. Okay, Antonio, tell me, how can I assist you here? Do you have any questions? Um, not see question, teacher, only go to your class. All right, uh, this space is for you to make questions. If you have any doubts, or maybe you want to practice a conversation from the class, or if you want to practice a little more one of the topics. Yeah, um, every day for the conversation in the class, for me, no problem, but is the, I understand little, but for the, I not like for eraser. Uh, all right, so you don't <laughs> yeah, like to I write. Am, yeah, I not like to write, but I'm, I am for the talk, all right, so, very so, good. Yeah, understand for little. Okay, okay. Well, so you have to practice listening, right? Do you like watching movies? Nothing. No. In English. Uh -huh. In English. Uh huh. Relativamente little. Uh, all right. Do you listen to music? Sí, yes, or so. Okay, yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. So do, do you like watching videos of maybe English class? In the class, in the English class, yes. All right, very good, very good. Um, there is another question, okay. Do you like reading books? No. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I, I, yeah, I need the reading book uh, in my in my work. Okay. More money, money, little money books in the inside for the office. Oh, okay. So uh, I, I remember the tomorrow. I remember for you the eraser for the the books. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Very good because you need to read to achieve more vocabulary, all right? To achieve more vocabulary. That's a very okay. good strategy to build vocabulary. And it's not the same maybe in a book that the vocabulary you are going to find listening to music or talking to people. So you need to expand a little bit, right? Your strategies. Oh, yes. Okay, teacher. To okay. improve your skills because there are four skills, remember? Listening, speaking, speaking, reading, reading uh -huh, and writing. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Writing. Yes. Writing. Yes. Writing. Yes. Writing. So it's very important. It's very important that you improve all the skills. All the skills. All right. It's not only speaking, but reading yes. too. Okay. Yeah. But, but I, 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 in my, in my home. Uh, well, um, tomorrow I'm not working. Uh -huh. uh, tonight I'm working. Tonight I'm working. But tomorrow, okay. uh, in, in, in my home, is. So no it's your day off. It's your yeah. day off. All right. But, but the tomorrow, no, no sleeping. I am work for uh -huh. the down. Uh, I work for the, my, uh, my dog in the morning or afternoon. All right. But I go to the. 
no my visit my family bad, bad for the work and some other del mundo Dep depend depending for my uh go to stream my nurse <laughs> <laughs> yeah where yeah. your nurse says all right yeah very, uh, yeah okay okay good but uh, tonight to tomorrow at night i am i am work for the okay. uh, salvadorian salsa the group oh orchestra okay. for this yeah i am the driver oh night. good good yeah because you work in a transportation uh yeah. company right yeah oh, all right. I, am, I, I am driver okay but, uh, um, my my day off here no work i am driver for the tourists oh okay so uh, it's in, your own business yeah i'm business for the tourists yeah and depending for for the the travel for okay. the people okay and we say attack. it depends on it, it depends it, on it depends on for the attack uh -huh. flower rows the volcano uh what mala city or um, oh, okay well depend depend mm. for the 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 they go to the Side the San Salvador outside the San Del Salvador. That is why you know how to get any place, right? When we say where is the police station, then you said it is right here, <laughs> right in front of there. Oh, oh my God, because it, it's because of your occupation, right? Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Uh huh. You are going to learn to give <laughs> some uh, directions, right? Directions. You know where the places are. Good. Uh huh. Yeah, in San Salvador. But depending right. for my 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 work in here and uh, my work here in in Comalapa, mm -hmm. but Comalapa go to San Salvador mm -hmm. and uh, every day. All right, mm -hmm. that's your permanent job, right? That's your permanent job. Yeah. Okay. Then you have different other kind of uh traveling i mean service that you offer right by your own mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. very nice i like very nice. I, I like him my i i like i i like my 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 work excellent right. excellent so you yeah, are doing uh, something i go to hear the city, city, mexico um go to the mexico and the past for the travel for the year the third uh, all right Boom. yeah uh, mexico city mm -hmm. uh, guadalajara mm -hmm. tasco mm -hmm. cuernavaca eh. but what uh, do you prefer do you prefer stay at home or do you prefer going out no in my work <laughs> uh, all right yeah got yeah, you yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And my home is uh, for me. It's boring. Yeah. All I, right. I, I I lie here the driver for me. Very nice, very nice, Antonio. So well, if you have no more questions, I think we are okay, right? We had a little talk, right? A small talk here. We enjoyed this time. So yeah. <laughs> I think see you tomorrow. All right. Do your homework. Yeah. Do your homework on the platform. All right. Thank you, teacher. Have a bye. very good night. See you night. tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.